Definitely. Okay, what I'm going to do is, I mean, I made this originally as a card, mm. but it's like a little mini piece of art, mm, uh, and it it's is. using collage, using the uh, the clock face. So I decided to, rather than do a card, I'm going to do a little piece of art mm. based on that. So I've got quite a thick board. That was on fairly thick, probably about 400 gram card, but right. you will have to flatten it afterwards mm. because it will curl because mm. we're going to be using water okay whoops so what i'm what i'm going to do is i got something i can't remember what it was and this was wrapped around it and i thought it was quite grungy mm. and uh, so i kept it and it's sort of ideal for this mm. so we're going to emboss this clock face onto there so if you've got a grand caliber um, like I said, it will fit through any machine at all, but I only know the, the sandwich for the Grand Calibre. Mm. Um, so I always do it back to front. I always find it easier. So I've got my pink plate. I've got my embossing mat. Yes. Then you put your paper. If your paper's one-sided, mm. make sure it faces towards you. Right. And then we're going to put the, the mask, the stencil on the top. Okay. okay. Then your base plate. Yep. And send it through. Oh, whoops. Just a little bit harder. So, it's going to send this through. So, I just wanted to show you that they emboss really nicely. Yep. Rather than send it all the way through because the screen's on the way, I'll just bring it backwards. <laughs> It'll be easier. I need to put some oil on my handle, it's squeaking. Okay, just get rid of that. <clears throat> so, now we've got. A really nice oh, embossed lovely. image, and just from a little bit of paper yeah. that you that caught your eye, basically. Yeah, that's, that's great. It. Yeah, yeah. But um, it does even on very thin paper, it mm. embosses really, really nicely. Well. Yeah. So we'll just get rid of that out of the way. Yep. Whoops. That's determined to go with it. It is. It's music, static, isn't it? Isn't it? I'm yeah. very static today. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to distress it up a bit. So um, let's just put this back on. It would have been easier if I hadn't taken it off in the first place. But anyway, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> uh, there, there we go. Yeah. Okay, so I've got a couple of distress inks here. I've got tea dye, pumice stone, and rusty hinge. Mm -hmm. So, whoops. I just love the names they give them. I know, yeah. I know. Brilliant, aren't they? So just to enhance um, all the... Um, embossing I'm just going to go in and it'll just make it stand out even more mm. it doesn't look like it's doing much at first but once you take it off you really see yeah the difference yeah. I love um, messing with inks and yeah. paints and well, the Stuff. results you can get are amazing, aren't they? Because, it, as you say, it's sort of a, a, a slow process, isn't it? That sort of layering, really. That's it, yeah. Um, I mean, I, I, I'm finding more and more... I mean, I do workshops now up and down the country doing mixed media, and people, um, although they still love their card-making, obviously, but they've. I think they've got to a stage where they want a bit more. Mm. They want mm. to be able to create something because, at the end of the day, each even if it's only a card you're making, it's like a mini piece of art because yeah. you are there'll never be another one the same yeah. um you're you're actually creating it and i think it gives people real satisfaction you know to be able to create something well it does and you know when i was looking at that card i'm just looking at this now it's that it, you know it's kind of thing if you got that you would spend ages looking yeah. at it you know yeah looking that's at all it detail, yeah you'd be reading the word you'd be looking at the sheet yeah. music you know you'd be thinking well how on earth has she you know has she done all of this mm -hmm. and I love the fact that it's so thick as well. It is like a piece of art. And actually, my mum, she framed, because my husband's a graphic designer, and he does a lot of cards for her with pictures of our daughter, and she frames them. Yeah. And this is the kind of thing that you would definitely frame if you were to put that in a That's nice right. black yeah. um, frame oh, or yeah, something. Oh, yeah, it'd be excellent, wouldn't it? Yeah, with a yeah. lot of white mount around it or something. Yeah. It'd be really nice. So I've just used those three colours just randomly, yeah. um, only very quickly. So oh, now... Look at that. Now when I take that off, yes. it's made so much difference. Yes, and has. you've still got the nice raised bits, mm -hmm. but you know, it does make a bit of difference. Yeah. And what I'm also going to do is use the splats again yeah. for added interest to grunge it up a bit. Yes, yeah. Um, so I'll just randomly 
Um, like I say, you don't have to, you know, worry about where you're putting stuff. You just do it. randomly oh, do it. Yeah, it looks like yeah. someone's dropped tea on it or something. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, and that's the great thing. I mean, I could have gone in with ink and, and dropped it on, but then it could actually it could go wrong. ruin it yes. and go wrong. Yes. So at least but it this looks way, like you've done that. that's, that's right. The thing, it looks it like effect. it's random, but actually you're yeah. in control, which yeah. is is great. Yeah. So just put that on there. So that's a nice coffee stain ring. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Uh, maybe this one. Okay, that's there you go. So I'm just gonna just rip. I love ripping. I, I prefer ripping to um, cutting. <laughs> I like. Well, especially with a vintage piece like this. Yeah, if it it's got straight edges, look, it wouldn't look quite right. No, would it? it wouldn't. Yeah. Definitely not. Yeah. And and the great thing about this paper, it's sort of already oily, and it's got like this black core. Yeah. Um, I wish I could actually buy it as <laughs> as paper. Yeah. Um, it's brilliant. It's very um, grungy already. Okay. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't definitely doesn't rip where you want it to. But anyway. Come on, last bit. There we go. That's it. Lovely. Okay. Right, now, because I'm going to be using a wet medium, mm. because I've used distress inks, they are reactivated by mm. water. Mm. So what I'm going to do is you can actually buy um, like a sealer uh, mm. for, for like your pan pastels and things, mm. but hairspray does the same thing. Yeah. So I'm just going to give it a blast with the hairspray just to seal it. Yeah. You know, just thinking as I'm watching you there, what's fantastic about your sets is that you really can play because you've got all the elements yeah. you could possibly need yeah. right in front of you. You know, you're not having to go to different kits and there's always a, no. a worry then, is it going to work together? Yeah. Yours are all going to work together beautifully and you can they really are. just create your own you masterpiece, can. can't yeah. you? Now, I'm just going to put that to one side for the minute and right. I'm going to come to my board. Now, um, I've got some just sheets of music here, mm. but I want to stick them down like as the background. Yes. I, I love, I've got, you know, music or I bought from the secondhand bookshop, I bought this fabulous um, French dictionary and it's got all um, drawings and it's absolutely gorgeous. Ah. So I use pages from that oh, as well see, yes. in the backgrounds yeah. of the art. Um, any, you know, you can go anywhere. And, and I'm, I love using books, especially now that everyone's into their Kindles and, and what have you. Yeah. Um, books are, are becoming a bit sort of forgotten about, aren't they? So yeah. I'm, which is a shame. I'm recycling them. I know, which is a shame, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. The only problem is I tend to use them before my husband's actually read them, so mm. he does get that's, a bit upset with me. That's not good if it comes to page 13 and it's gone, yes, and yes. that's a crucial part of the story. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you could always go and read your card. Yes. You know, read page yeah, 13 yes. now. <laughs> right, so I've got some um, just gloss medium here, which you can get on the website, and I'm just going to... I have to be careful of this because it comes out quite fast and it ends up all over me. Uh, right, so I'm just going to spread this around. Now, gloss medium or matte medium, it's just an acrylic medium, right. is brilliant because... Sorry, can I just get a piece of newspaper under there? Um, because it, it acts like a glue. Mm. Um, Mod Mod Podge as well, that sort of thing will work and do the same thing. Yes. But it acts like a glue, but it also acts like a varnish. Right. You can get it in matte or, or gloss. I, I like the gloss. Mm. So I'm just going to spread that all over and then we're just going to randomly stick it in, stick it all on. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so, it do, you know, you can create this out of, um, you know, if you've got nice papers yeah. that you think, oh, I, I'm never going to use them. You can use those for this. Uh, anything you've got lying about at all. And just go over the whole thing. This is why I, I sealed the ink on, on the clock face because I'm going to use this, but it is water based, so it would all that ink I put on would just disappear, it would spread yeah. about everywhere. 
but it's basic it's just about creating yes you know just, getting like creative say, it is, isn't it you just literally yeah and set off and go and yeah see where and it takes there's you. no right and wrong mm. that's the the mm. the great thing yeah nobody knows what it was actually supposed to look like no <laughs> apart from you um right okay so let's just get the clock just put a, put a spot more on come out oh it's there gosh you didn't see that coming out then. <laughs> plenty let's just move it a bit Right, so one thing you need to remember about clocks is you need the to times, make sure that yes. it's the right mm. way up, which I didn't on the other one. <laughs> and it wasn't until after I'd finished it I realised. So I'm just going to spread that all. If you're at home, you can let this dry on its own. Yeah. Um, but we're just going to um, use the heat gun. But if you want to email him, we'll actually give this away as um Yeah, so that's what we're saying, won't we? Nice. So <laughs> if you email in studio at creatingcraft.tv, you will be able to have this piece of artwork for yourself. So yeah. do do send us an email. Right, so I'll just spread that. Oh, I'm getting it everywhere. And then I'll uh, just I'm just gonna dry it a bit. Okay. It's hard to talk when this is on. <laughs> what I quite like as well, though, is it's messy craft. It is you, messy. You today we're going to get messy. And yeah, we are. But it is. <laughs> but I, I like it because, like you say, you're looking at that, you just think, how do you create that? Yeah. And when you see it being done, it's just about putting things down on the paper, basically. That's and right. Playing. Just yeah, just you, like I say, there's no right and wrong way, so you no. don't have to worry about it. No. You just and if it doesn't work, what have you lost? No, exactly. A bit of paper. Yeah. Um, even if you're creating this on a canvas, mm. um, all you have to do is just paint over it and start again. Yeah. You know. Yeah. There's never a right and wrong way. Let me just get a piece of baby white to get rid of all this. Otherwise, we'll all be glued up. Just dry it off a little bit. One thing I'll say about if you're using acrylic medium, make sure you put your paintbrush straight in water because right. otherwise it'll be rock hard yes. when you go to it because it is a glue. Yeah. Well, they're proving to be very popular at the moment, the, uh, the two packs that we've got for you. Brand new today on the show, don't forget, so these haven't been seen before. And this, of course, is one of the packs, the three pack of clocks, the brick wall and the ink splats. Really terrific value as well, £13.49 for all those different elements, which, as you've seen, when you've got them, you can then just play with them, experiment and, uh, and just see what comes out. That's basically what you're doing. Uh, but that's just one of the packs there. And the other pack, of course, was the faces and uh, proving very popular as well, the faces. And I think that's because, as Sarah was saying, where else do you get faces from? You know, where else that's are you right. going to find yeah. those faces, especially to be able to create these very evocative images as well? these moods on the cards so uh, I think those are, are very unique actually very original those faces I like those I don't know what I've done with my scissors so I'll just try and cut it off with a knife <laughs> I should have got them out beforehand never mind well we've we got some Yes, we have. We've got some emails. Right then. Okay. Hi, lovely ladies and the crew. Hello. Well, hello. <laughs> um, I love the three masks. Oh, we brought scissors in. Oh, excellent. We need them. Thank you. Um, I love the three masks. How unusual to have faces. Perfect yes. for my scrapbook pages. And that's from Love from Rachel. Uh, and she is in Walsall. Rachel Type Taylor from Walsall. So thank you very much, uh, Rachel. And I agree with you. Very unusual yeah. to have the faces. It's, it's really ideal nice to for have scrapbooking. Something. Yeah. Um, now, this one is from uh, a lady in Lincolnshire, so in this area. She says, morning, ladies. Uh, what a beautiful and different to the norm designs. So bold and eye-catching, absolutely inspirational. Looking forward to your demos. Well, hopefully, Ivy, you're watching those demonstrations yeah. right now and enjoying the demonstration as much as you're enjoying the artwork. Uh, lovely. Thank you very much for those two emails. I'm going to pop you into the cup. There you go. 
mm. and uh, see if you can win this fabulous piece of artwork that uh, Sarah is doing for us. And what's amazing is, although Sarah is an artist, you can create these masterpieces That's yourself right. by using the kit that Sarah has given you. Yeah. Uh, she really knows what she's doing when she's put it all together. And, uh, and now you can uh, use all the elements and see what, see what you come up with, basically. That's right, yeah. And, and I give them those lovely gifts and things. I always have. I mean, my website is on the packaging when you get it. Yeah. I always put on, there's videos, how-to videos, mm -hmm. there's mm -hmm. time-lapse videos on there and or, um, got galleries to give you mm. inspiration. Yes. Um, so but look at that already. That's coming yeah. together beautifully. That's right. And as I've seen, it's just a bit of ripping, yeah. sticking, <laughs> gluing. That's right. And yeah, that's it. It's, it, it really is. That's all there is to it. Yeah. Now, on the original one, I used to stamp, but I've also been messing with clay mm. recently. Mm. And I've made this little sun face. Oh. And I'm just going to stick him in, in the centre there. Yeah. So again, it's sort of adding, um, a lot of people are into the, you know, the clays and making mm. things. Mm. So I'm just going to stick him in. I probably wouldn't need my glue gun to do that, but I'll just put some pin flare on there. Okay. Um, if I can find it. Um, yes, we did show you some pin flare yeah. today, didn't we, uh, on the show? I mentioned yes, it. We've got a great uh, set for you, actually. And uh, let's bring it up. There it is. So you get the two tubes of pin flare there. You get your syringes there, obviously. Uh, it's a five-piece kit, actually. So you get your gel, your syringe, and your squeezer key, and the instructions, of course. And only twelve ninety nine. So very good value for that mm. pin flare uh, glue set. And uh, as I say, we see ladies all the time using the pin flare here. On create yeah and oh craft. yeah I couldn't be without it and no. I think I've left the lid off mine a bit but anyway um, yeah so I'm, I'm gonna use it I mean it does stick a multitude of things yeah. it's brilliant yeah. stuff yeah. I can get it out there you go it's coming now <laughs> <laughs> super okay I could say really it would need a uh, glue gun but yeah. this will stick it it's just that it won't it'll move about quite a bit until yeah. it's stuck yeah so I'll stick him on there like that. Now on the original one, yeah. um, if you can see here, I've, I've put, it's, it's that time again. Mm. Now, what I haven't actually used rub-ons for that. What I did, if you, um, you know the wax paper you can get or mm. even acetate. Mm. If you print on the wrong side of acetate, I'm sure lots of people have done it before, it's still wet, it won't dry. Yeah. If you print it back to front and then press it on, you will get the image, the, the words. Oh, it's brilliant oh, for clever. scrapbooking or when you've got an uneven surface mm. where um, a stamp wouldn't work. Yeah. Um, so that's how I actually got that. I, I, I measured the circle yeah. and got it, uh, you know, I printed it on the computer mm. to get it into that shape. Mm. Um, so that's how I actually did that. It's a really handy tip yes. to know. Um, so basically I could go further and start putting words in and, and stamping, but uh, I want to get some more demos in, but I just wanted to show you how simple yeah, it was is. to create. Yeah, and of course that's from one of our brand new sets that we're bringing to you today here on Create and Craft, because we have got two of those wonderful mask sets there for you, but that is your clock face one, your wheels and your cogs and various other bits and pieces, but so simple, so clever, very tactile, very yeah. innovative and very new, I think, a very new look as, a, as one of our people who emailed in said, you know, very unusual designs.